Uh, the worst part about working outside is the wind. So you're fighting the wind. So you have to hold the hood while you replace the valve stem seals. Anybody has ever done that? Let me know about your experience. But long story short, ooh, long story short, uh, the first cylinder is done. Now I'm moving on to the second cylinder, replacing those uh, valve stem seals. All right, I just have a couple more valve stem seals. Um, this is the cylinder, this is the, uh, um, what cylinder? Okay, so uh, the firing order is one, two, uh, then it goes four, five, three. So right now I'm working on the fifth cylinder. Okay, and then after I'm done with this, this is the last cylinder I'll have to do, which is cylinder three, okay? And then after that, we're gonna be done. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put everything back together, the rocker arms, and then I gotta, I'm gonna have to do the valve adjustment uh, one more time. <laughs> so yeah, you remember uh, when I first got this car, I did the valve adjustment, but I never decided to do the valve stem seals up until uh, recently, so good stuff. Okay, getting late, but I just finished installing the rocker arms. Once again, I'm sorry, it's flickering, flickering because of my uh, headlamp for some reason. Uh, the phone doesn't like it. But uh, long story short, right now everything is back together. I'm just gonna have to come back probably tomorrow and just finish it with a valve adjustment. Then I'm gonna install the air cleaner and everything. So. Good stuff guys, um, really excited. Uh, it was a little bit of a pain to install this section of rock arms, okay, because uh, it's actually three sets in one <laughs> instead of uh, two, uh, so, but it's okay. Uh, I just had to turn the engine a little bit and then just line it up uh, one by one, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, yeah, other than that, I'm really excited. I'll show you the old, um... hey, by the way, this is the, TB kit that I was using and uh, if you're wondering um, actually there are actually green and black um, valstom seals so black valstom seals are for your intake valves and yes you heard me right black valstom seals are for your exhaust I'm sorry for your intake valves and the green valstom seals are for your intake valves All right, so keep that in mind a lot of people mix that up uh, and they're actually two different sizes so if you look at them one by one you will see that they're different sizes so anyways uh, what I also did is cleaned everything up right here uh, nicely from any debris or anything like that so I'm really excited and yeah uh, <laughs> this is gonna be awesome um, and I'm just really happy because the valstom seals usually go bad you know especially after 35 years so Good stuff. I'm really happy, guys. And uh, anyways, um, that's it for tonight. I'll talk to you later. Take care. All right, valve adjustment is done. Everything is torqued uh, properly and all that stuff. I'm about to start putting everything back together. Uh, installing new valve cover gasket and air cleaner and all that stuff. dry starts I just lubricated the valves before installing the valve cover uh, so we're gonna have no dry starts I guess it's pretty cold uh, today as you can see frozen uh, water right there okay we have ice uh, but I need to finish this job today and this is one of the last biggest projects that I need to do on this car pretty much so uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of things and all the parts that I'll be using but as you can see the exhaust is dropped 
All right, I still have to work on my exhaust and actually wire wheel it and paint it. I started doing that, but not till the end. Um, and then I'm gonna jack up this side of the car, okay, and put it on jack stands. And then we're gonna go underneath and start replacing our drive shaft flex discs, center support, and transmission mount as well. And this is gonna be, uh, like I said, one of the last things that we need to do on this car. And then later on, I'm gonna start cleaning this car up and detailing it and everything else um, but I'm just really happy the car is almost done and ready for shipping so that's awesome all right guys so these are the parts that I'll be installing we have a drive shaft center support and a bearing uh, okay um, I bought the bearing separately this is I think a fag bearing so it's made in Japan so I had to press it in and then this one um, the center support itself came separately Okay, we're also going to install new transmission mount and then new boot. This goes on the drive shaft. We have these are two most important things. These are the drive shaft flex discs. Okay, make sure you always use a Phoebe drive shaft flex discs or um, a genuine. Okay, make sure it says made in Germany and all that stuff. Don't ever use Miley or Dorm or anything like that because those brands are so bad these those flex discs will go bad in about 2000 miles okay so make sure you always use phoebe or stuff like that so yeah anyways let's get started i'm gonna start jacking it up on this side and chalking the wheels on the other side and then uh yeah we're gonna be ready to go and uh we're gonna go ahead and start working on this amazing car and also um, i have this paint this is just a white out so i can mark the drive shaft before i separate two uh so before i separate uh the two drive shaft halves so i'm gonna mark them just to make sure i put them back the right way all right guys let's look at these flex discs as you can see right there there's a lot of cracks showing on it Transmission mount is shot as well. So we'll be replacing this. I'm gonna drop this cross member and stuff like that. And then going up here, this boot is cracked. And I mean, the center support is probably not too bad just yet, but that other drive shaft flex disc is also bad. All right, guys, it's a super tight fit, but as you can see right here i removed the old flex disc sitting right there okay and now i just have to uh, first thing that i did is i loosened this nut obviously before i even started prying on this or anything like that but uh right now i'm going to be removing the center support and then and this flex disc is also no good okay it's got cracks got cracks going on and stuff like that and as you can see I removed all the bolts already and my transmission is in neutral so I'm gonna pry it out remove the center support bolts and the whole drive shaft is just gonna come out and I'm gonna slide it out this way okay guys so the drive shaft is out flex discs are both out and there's the drive shaft I prefer to pull it as one piece and then I usually separate it uh, when it, once it's out of the car. Make sure once you when you're pulling this out, don't let the drive shaft pieces to separate. It's really important. Okay, let's compare. These are the original ones from 1985. Okay, they have this Jurid name right here and SGF, and they also have um, a Mercedes Star okay right there but as you can see they're they're pretty tired and cracked up okay so i'm really happy that i'm replacing them they're both the same flex discs okay mercedes-benz now good part we have new hardware and we're installing oem flex discs okay sgf uh, made in germany okay legit stuff this is what we're replacing these ones with okay
All right, guys, also don't forget to wear safety glasses when you're under the car. And anyways, I'm gonna pre-install my new flex disc right now, and then I'm gonna proceed to replacing the center support and the bearing on this car. All right, guys, I just pre-installed this uh, brand new flex disc right here. And just want uh, for you to remember that, uh, you know, it has washers, the kit comes with washers. So uh, the washers are actually gonna go on the side opposite of a flange, uh, opposite of the yoke. So um, as you can see, this is where the, this is where the washer is right here on this side, uh, because on the other side we have a yoke. So you don't need a washer there, you just need a washer on this side. The washer goes on the flex disc, okay? It doesn't go on the yoke, on the flex disc, so remember that. Also, before installing the drive shaft, I'm gonna put some grease on that middle portion where the drive shaft bushing rides. And uh, yeah, uh, we're getting there, guys. Uh, really exciting, awesome. Um, let's keep on going. All right, guys, same thing with the differential side. We have a new uh, flex disc installed, three bolts and three nuts and three washers. Okay, the rest of them will be installed once the drive shaft is in place. Time to replace this bad boy with brand new one. Okay, this thing is out. It's got looks. I literally just used like a chisel and chiseled this thing out. This thing has seen better days. Okay, there's a cup right here too. So now I'm gonna clean all this up this area right here and i'll be ready to install a new bearing the way i'm gonna install it it's pretty simple it actually goes this way and then i'm gonna use a small punch and just carefully go all the way around this inner race and just install it but don't forget that you have to install this cup first in my case i'll be cleaning this so and it's pretty simple not a big deal easy Okay, so here's the mark, and there's the mark right there. Everything is reinstalled, new center support and bearing, new boot, and this nut. And now everything was cleaned up and uh, I put grease on the splines. Um, and you can also put the grease inside of there, okay? Exactly how it was. Okay, mark and mark. We're also gonna add grease to these bushings. Right over there, on both sides. And then after that, that's it. Our drive shaft is ready to be reinstalled. All right, guys, I just finished installing the drive shaft back. Everything is reinstalled drive shaft both flex discs center support and uh, also transmission mount and cross member and all that stuff also uh, started fluid filming under there where the transmission tunnel is and everything so you will see some fluid film over there for preservation and all that stuff so just want to show you really quick the final product let's go underneath and check it out all right guys so here it is we have a new transmission mount flex disc right there beautiful uh, added a bunch of fluid film everywhere okay everything here is reinstalled if we go over here uh, center support okay everything is reinstalled there and then as well as right here as you can see everything is beautiful nice a lot of fluid film here as well 
And let me show you the rear flex disc. All right, guys, and that is our rear flex disc. Okay, all reinstalled, everything nice, all right. And I also started fluid filming all these trailing arms right here and brake lines and fuel lines. Everything is gonna be getting undercoated here with grease and fluid film. One more thing before I wrap this job up is I wanna um, put some automatic transmission fluid on this mechanism. So this mechanism stays lubricated nicely. And now this exhaust, I'll finish it up tomorrow. I have to finish uh, wire wheeling it and cleaning it, sanding it, and then I'm gonna paint it and then I'll, I'll reinstall it. As of right now, I need to start cleaning up. I have a lot of tools out, so it's time to clean everything up here.